Saudi Arabia is a land of mysteries, be it its people, history or its civilization. And Alola is a prime example of this. Located in the northwest of Saudi Arabia, Alola may be a new and an emerging tourist destination, but it holds 2 lakh years of largely unexplored human history. And if there is one place that one must visit in Alula, it would have to be Hegra, Saudi Arabia's first UNESCO World Heritage Site. Well, coming to Hegra is like taking a journey back in time to explore the archaeological and cultural legacy of the Nabatean civilization. Hegra is also called the Other Petra. And showing me around this neighborhood that dates back to thousands of years is Saudi's first travel blogger, Laura, popularly known as Blue Abaya. Hi! Hi! The place looks so overwhelming. It is actually huge. It's yeah. a huge area. So it's, it's the whole city of Hegra, which we have so many different areas in. And we're going to explore, I think, five different locations today. All my Instagram <laughs> dreams are now going to come true. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> So actually, it's quite a long tour and there's yeah. a lot of things to see. Okay. So how about we start with a taste of the Sabri hospitality and I'll take you somewhere. Let's, yeah, go, let's go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's one of my favorite restaurants. So they have like Arabic cuisine, but ha with a twist. It's very Instagrammable. It's very Instagrammable. Yes. Okay, then it's perfect. I have my phone right yeah. here with me. Let's get started. <laughs> One thing that I really noticed about Saudi Arabia is, of course, their hospitality. Exactly, they take pride in really like uh, providing with their guests with us. Yeah, I don't think I can wait any longer. Yeah, let's start. So if I may ask, what's your story? When did you yeah. move to Saudi Arabia? Uh, because I believe originally you are from Finland. Yes, I'm from Finland, yeah. No, it's not a long story, but it started a long time ago, let's say, okay. uh, in 2008, actually. So I right. came to work to, uh, to Saudi Arabia in King Faisal Hospital, and um, uh, I was working as a nurse in the hospital, and I chose to come here because there was no other way for me to actually enter the country at that time. So there was no tourism uh, visas. So for me, it was the exploration side of things. I wanted to go and kind of, a lot of yeah. people are like, oh, well, it's just like sand and camels. <laughs> so then I found out, well, actually, it's so much more. You thought you would come here only for a year, but now yeah. how many years has it been for you? So now it's, uh, it's what, 15 years? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it has changed so much, actually, from when I came. It's like almost like a different country nowadays. So um, it's always been the, the, the people have been the, the, the greatest asset, I think, in Saudi Arabia, but also the nature, the culture. Um, that hasn't changed. Absolutely. But what has changed is this kind of new excitement that, that you feel wherever you go. So where are we going first? Shall we go to Hegra or what do you recommend? I would recommend we start in Hegra, yeah. <laughs> this is a very cool car. First of all, Laura, thank you very much for getting a car that's matching my outfit. Tell me about Hegra in specific, you know, it has won the award, uh, it is a UNESCO World Heritage it is. Site. Yes, mm -hmm. so it's actually Saudi Arabia's first UNESCO inscribed heritage site. Oh, is it? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. so in 2008, mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it became the first one. Now there are six today, okay. Okay. but this was the very first one and um, it's the most well-known and iconic one as well. Yeah. It's um, especially the first location where we're going, Right. Um, the, uh, the Lonely Palace. This is the most well-known location inside Hegra. Have you been to Petra in Jordan? I haven't, but I see a striking resemblance yes. in how Petra looks and Hegra. Right, so yeah. it's the same people, the, the ancient Nabataean civilization. Ah, okay. Um, they built Petra as their capital city mm -hmm. and uh, Hegra was mm -hmm. their uh, southernmost, like the largest city in, right. in the south of their kingdom. Right. So um, that was around 2000, more than 2000 years ago, actually, that they, they settled here in this area. 
So you can see the resemblance, the sandstone. Yeah. yeah. It's very similar to that uh, in um, in Petra. Yeah. So uh, they, because they're really masters in sculpting right. the rock. Right. So they wanted to. I guess it felt homey for them. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I would say that a lot of things are changing in Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. as well, with women being allowed to drive, women being allowed to vote. You came here in the year 2008. Mm -hmm. What is the kind of transition you've seen in Saudi Arabia from the time you came till today's day? Well, it's been massive, the change. It's like two yeah. different countries. I mean, it's it's it was more challenging to, um, to travel, right. me personally, yeah. but well, where there's a will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. So it never stopped me from, yeah. from doing uh, anything that I wanted to do. The five steps of heaven to wow. heaven. And then you have four columns on this one. So this one is also called the unique palace because it has the only one that has four okay. uh, pillars. So four, four pillars, yeah. five steps to heaven. Yes, exactly. Wow, interesting. <laughs> So we are going now to Jebel Eflip, and this okay. is the sacred place of the mm -hmm. Nabataeans. Okay. So this is where they would come and do like the religious rituals. Right. Um, they would actually also do some gatherings over there. I'm going to show you this uh, place. We call it the Diwan. Okay. So the VIP people and the special people are coming there and having these kind of meetings. And are we the VIP today yes, here? <laughs> We are now in Jadida district. Jadida district. Yes. Okay. So it means like the new area. Right. Uh, and this is the place where the locals moved from Old Town. All right. Where they were still living up until like 40 years ago. So from the mud houses of the Old Town, yeah. they moved to Jadida. And nowadays, Jadida is actually like an art district. It's full of life and it comes to life in the evenings. And it's like you have these live music bands, art right. galleries, photo exhibitions. Uh, little cafes, you know, boutiques. It's a very nice area. So if, even though they have moved to a new area, mm -hmm. their houses are still made in a very olden style. Yeah, exactly. No, it's, it's interesting to see that you get all sorts of cuisines here because right. ever since I've been here, I've been eating a lot of local region specific but here we are enjoying some are. international food yes, as well we're having like an italian uh, treat tonight absolutely <laughs> yeah. laura it's been wonderful you know hanging around in alula with you thank you for showing me around hegra and sharing a few secrets about yeah. saudi as well <laughs> so, i hope you. you come back soon and i look forward to welcoming yeah. you in dubai and yes. in india i would Very love soon. that yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you